Dr. Eric here to talk to you about the management and treatment of non-bacterial chronic prostatitis. I'll cover diagnosis and treatment options for you. Chronic prostatitis affects about 8% of men in their lifetime. The most common type of chronic prostatitis is non-bacterial chronic prostatitis. Some doctors also call this chronic pelvic pain syndrome, while others consider it to be a form of chronic pelvic pain syndrome. Non-bacterial chronic prostatitis is characterized by pelvic pain. Symptoms can include difficulty passing urine, pain in the testicles, scrotum, groin, perineum, bladder, or anus, pain with ejaculation, burning with urination, frequency of urination, among many other symptoms. It isn't clear what the cause of chronic prostatitis is in most cases. A history of trauma or urinary tract infections may be risk factors, but not always. In many cases, there is no clear cause and no clear risk factors in a patient. The key to understanding non-bacterial chronic prostatitis is to understand that it is not an infection. It will not get better with antibiotics. And keep in mind, this is the most common type of prostatitis. The diagnosis of non-bacterial chronic prostatitis is made through patient history of symptoms, physical exam, and lab testing. In the patient history, there will be episodes of pain in the pelvic area, sometimes burning with urination, sometimes a history of urinary tract infections or other pelvic infections. On physical examination, the patient may have pain when pressing on the abdomen over the bladder area, in the perineum, which is underneath the testicles, or in the testicles themselves, or when examining the prostate. Sometimes the prostate will feel boggy, indicating inflammation. Laboratory testing should include urine testing. Sometimes this testing will also include cultures of the semen or the urine after a prostate massage. These cultures will come back negative. Often, the urine will show inflammatory cells called white blood cells, but it should not show any bacteria. This is a hallmark of non-bacterial chronic prostatitis. Specialty testing with ultra-sensitive DNA sequencing tests can help to rule out bacteria, viruses, or fungus as a cause of the symptoms. Once the diagnosis has been made, then a treatment plan can be put in place. This treatment plan should not include antibiotics because remember, this is not an infection, it is inflammation. Most treatment plans should be what's called multimodal, meaning integrating several types of treatments at one time. The first option often centers on anti-inflammatories and alpha blockers together. The anti-inflammatory, like ibuprofen, helps to reduce the inflammation and the pain. The alpha blocker, most commonly Flomax or Tamsulosin, helps to relax the smooth muscle of the prostate to aid in the release of the prostate fluid. Cycling that fluid out of the prostate can help to relieve the congestion and the inflammation. The other most important treatment is pelvic floor physical therapy. This type of therapy is very specialized so it's important to find a physical therapist who is specially trained in this area of expertise. The physical therapist can work on pelvic exercises to strengthen muscle weakness, stretching to relieve tension, and relaxation techniques to release any tightness in the pelvic floor. Some patients, particularly those with pelvic floor muscle tightness, may benefit from muscle relaxants. These medications help to relieve the tension built up in the pelvic floor muscles. Quercetin is an herbal supplement option that has been shown to improve inflammation and symptoms of men with chronic prostatitis. It is available over the counter without a prescription. Sitz baths or warm soaks can also help to relieve the same type of muscle tension that helps with muscle relaxants. Filling the bathtub up about a quarter of the way with warm water and soaking for 15 to 20 minutes helps a lot. Sometimes the physician may recommend prostate massage to help force that inflamed fluid out of the prostate. This is done in the doctor's office. The doctor performs a rectal exam like normal, 
but presses on the prostate in two to three sweeping motions to push fluid from the prostate into the urethra. It's then voided out with the urine. This may be done once or twice a week to start, and then with decreasing frequency as symptoms improve. Some lifestyle changes can also help. Frequent ejaculation to cycle the fluid out of the prostate is helpful. Certain foods, such as caffeine, alcohol, and spicy foods, can be prostate irritants and should be avoided. Another thing to avoid is sitting for prolonged periods of time. This puts pressure on the perineum and the prostate and can make symptoms worse. If you do have to sit for long periods of time for school or for work, then you should get a donut cushion to sit on. This helps to relieve the pressure that would otherwise be on the prostate area. Many patients will also see improvement of symptoms with stress relief through therapy or counseling, meditation, and other relaxation techniques like slow breathing. Acupuncture is also beneficial for many men. If the symptoms still persist, then seeing a pain specialist is often advised. They can help with trigger point injections, pain medications, and other forms of support. Lastly, sometimes, though rarely, surgical options like a prostate rotorooter job called a TERP can be tried. These should really be reserved for last-ditch efforts where nothing else has worked for a patient. For some men, the prostatitis symptoms will go away even without any treatment at all. For other men, they'll be cured with treatment, though the problem can return at any time in the future. Some men will continue to have symptoms that require long-term management. You can continue normal sexual activity with prostatitis. There really isn't much data connecting chronic prostatitis and male infertility, so it's unlikely that chronic prostatitis will affect your ability to get a woman pregnant. Prostatitis isn't always curable, but usually the symptoms can be well managed. You should be able to live a reasonably normal life despite having chronic prostatitis. I hope that this information has been useful, and please click the subscribe button to stay up to date on my health videos and leave any questions in the comments section below.